Now, Korea's Hanjin Shipping has filed for receivership as shipping companies worldwide grapple with overcapacity amid a slump in global trade. The filing with the Central District Court in Seoul came just a day after the company's creditors discontinued providing a lifeline after financial assistance of more than 890 million U.S. dollars failed to keep it afloat. Our Hwang Woo-jun has the latest. A desperate measure for the sinking shipping company, once the world's seventh biggest by capacity. Hanjin Shipping filed for court receivership on Wednesday afternoon Korea time after its board of directors convened in the morning and decided to go down that road. All trading in shares of Hanjin Shipping has been halted after its stock price plummeted as much as 29.1 percent, eventually closing at just 1,240 Korean won, or a little over one U.S. dollar. Court receivership will give the court full control and authority to make decisions for the company. The court will replace the current executive with a new legal administrator and will make a judgment as to whether or not Hanjin has a chance for survival. If Hanjin is deemed fit to survive, the court will start restructuring the company, potentially liquidate some assets, and manage its obligations as necessary to bring the company into a process of recovery. The court will also continue to closely monitor the company's debt repayment. If Hanjin follows through on all steps, then it graduates from receivership. On the other hand, if the court determines that its operations cannot be salvaged through restructuring, liquidation may be in order. Korea's Financial Services Commission led an emergency meeting on the situation about an hour before Hanjin announced its fateful decision. In a statement, FSC officials said they believe the filing's effect on domestic financial markets will be limited. However, to minimize the blow, they also said the government will actively look for ways for Hanjin's rival, Hyundai Merchant Marine Company, to take over ships, business networks, and its workforce. The trade and foreign ministries, as well as other related agencies, will work closely to support workers, subcontractors, and the transportation of involved goods. According to its mid-year report on June 30th, Hanjin had total debts of about $5.5 billion, while this week its market value tumbled to about $270 million U.S. dollars. Hwang Ho-jun, Arirang News.